we are providing a clean fuel, a renewable energy with minimum damage to the environment, whilst at the same time creating jobs to us. That's a good combination. In 2008, Zimbabwe's Agricultural and Rural Development Authority, ADA, sought to find investment partners in which to rehabilitate their properties and thereby empower rural populations. The resulting partnership has seen green fuel introduce over 9,000 hectares of sugarcane into Chisumbanji and Middle Sabi for use in green fuel's ethanol plant established in 2011 and currently producing approximately 380,000 liters of ethanol each day. Green fuel provides employment to over 2,600 people, resulting in the equivalent of over 2 million US dollars being injected into the area each month in the form of salaries and procurement finance. On a broader scale, the mandate blending of ethanol with petrol has saved the Zimbabwean economy billions of dollars in foreign currency and enhanced consumers' overall buying power throughout the country. The, the company is 100% Zimbabwean. It's, it's actually, it's us, it's owned by us, it's Zimbabwean. Our license is to make fuel ethanol. Ethanol is an extender which increases the volume of fuel we get in the country. So we use it to actually blend with petrol up to 20%. And that is going to assist and save a lot in terms of our energy security, fuel security. Green fuel also generates power. We've got an 18 megawatts turbine. We consume about five megawatts for the factory and the estate, and the rest we are actually putting on the grid. All cane preparation, milling, fermentation of sugars, distillation and dehydration is processed in Chisumbanji at Green Fuel's modern plant, 60% of which was manufactured in Zimbabwe by the company's local engineering team. The plant is the first of its kind in Africa, using the latest technology to produce high-grade anhydrous ethanol and electricity. From land preparation to planting, harvesting to fertilizer and herbicide application, Green Fuel is dedicated to ensuring its farming practices are highly mechanized, strongly holistic and sustainable, in line with the 2010 EU Sustainable Agricultural Guidelines. We are already using the resources sustainably. Meaning to say the future generation will get the resources and they're going to use it as we have found them. So in the past we've been using predominantly flood irrigation, centre pivots and overhead irrigation. The move has come in to go more into drip irrigation. Basically you're irrigating the root zone of the crop and not the whole area. You can save probably about a third of our water usage. With the green fuel there is no erosion because there will be a trash cover and no soil will be eroded. And uh, we don't have any other byproduct that we produce that pollutes the environment. Because all the byproduct that we get, we get it back to the field. We do have a lot of wildlife. If you burn, you chase a lot of your wildlife away. With green cane, wildlife just move. Um, we've got a buffalo that's been here for years and we, we meet it every year in the field and it just moves from one field to another. Green Fuel's commitment to the local community is demonstrated through the company's extensive CSR portfolio. Over 1,200 hectares of land has been developed for the community to date, 600 hectares of which consists of irrigated plots, ensuring access to water year-round. The company is dedicated to the sustainable development of its community and has commissioned a number of projects supporting this, including a sewing workshop, internet library, beekeeping project, a project making reusable sanitary wear and a mentorship program which sponsors school fees for 100 children in the community. This site, we had no industry. I used to look at children going to school. Those children had no uniform. And when Greenfield came, it employed many people around this area. Now, if you go around, you can see that almost every child is having a uniform. Parents are now able to pay fees, and almost every child is going to school now. With access to additional land, which is ideally situated for sugarcane growing, as well as the latest technical know-how, 
Green Fuel has expansion plans to increase production for the local and the export markets. Green Fuel is putting Zimbabwe at the forefront of ethanol in Africa and driving the future of renewable energy.